Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll show you how to upgrade your Windows 7 operating system to Windows 11 without losing any data. So to do this, you'll need two key items, which are Windows 11 ISO image and TPM or trusted platform module software. Before we start, make sure to back up all your important files. Although the upgrade process is designed to preserve your data, it's always a good idea to have a backup in case anything goes wrong. You can simply use an external, har an external hard drive, cloud storage, or any other backup methods you prefer. Additionally, ensure that your PC meets the system requirements for Windows 11. Here are the minimum requirements. If your PC doesn't meet these requirements, you might encounter issues during the installation process. So now let's proceed with the upgrade process. Step 1. Download the Windows 11 ISO image. Open your web browser and search for Windows 11 ISO. Click on the official Microsoft website link. Scroll down to the download Windows 11 disk image. Then select Windows 11 Multiple Editions from the, from the drop-down menu and select Download. Choose your language and click Confirm. Click on 64-bit download because Windows 11 is only available for 64-bit systems. The download process will start and the file size is approximately 5.2 GB. Since I already have the ISO image, I'll cancel this download. I'll include the link to download the TPM software in the description box below. Next step is download and install Z and install 7-zip software. To extract the ISO image, you'll need 7-zip, a free extraction tool. Search for 7-zip in your browser and click on the official 7-zip website. Download the version appropriate for your system, which is 32-bit or 64-bit. Click Download and then Save to start the download. I'll also put the download link for 7-Zip in the description below. Once downloaded, install 7-Zip by following the on-screen instructions. Step 3. Prepare the Windows 11 setup folder. Extract the Windows 11 ISO image using 7-zip. Right-click on the ISO file and select 7-zip, then extract here to unzip the files. You'll see the Windows 11 folder with various files. Extract the TPM folder. Simply right-click on the TPM folder and select Extract here. Open the TPM folder and copy the DLL file. 
or D11. Then paste the file into the Sources folder within the Windows 11 Setup folder. Open the Windows 11 folder, navigate to the Sources folder and paste the DL file. Select Copy and Replace to overwrite any existing files. Now your Windows 11 Setup folder is ready for the upgrade. Next step you can do is verify Windows 7 system properties. Before starting the upgrade, let's check your Windows 7 system properties. Simply go to Control Panel, System and Security, then select System. Verify that you are using Windows 7 Pro or your current edition and that your system is 64B. Ensure your Windows 7 is activated and that you have backed up important data from your desktop. Step 5 is start the upgrade process. Open the Windows 11 setup folder and double click on setup.executable. When prompted by user account control, click yes to proceed. The, the setup will ask if you want to download updates. Choose not right now and click next. Accept the license terms and click next. You will see options for keeping files and applications. For keep personal files only, this will keep your data but remove installed applications. While for keep nothing, this will remove all files and applications. Select Keep Personal Files Only to retain your data. Click Next. You will see a summary of your choices. Click Install to begin the upgrade. The installation process will take about 40 to 45 minutes and your PC will restore it several times. And then, last step is finalize the upgrade. After the installation is complete, follow the on-screen instructions to set up Windows 11. Change your display resolution if needed and check your system properties to confirm the upgrade. Go to Settings, then System, then About to verify that Windows 11 Pro is installed. And there you have it. You've successfully upgraded from Windows 7 to Windows 11 without losing any data. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech tips and tutorials.